So, girl, tell me about what happened with Robert last night, okay? Just know I gave him what he wanted. Like, no! <laughs> Because you know my pockets haven't hurt me, so I'm trying to get on that lift life that you are already on. So tell me, tell me how that's going, girl. I drove around all last night till three in the morning, dealing with drunk girls in the back of my car, dealing with I don't even know what. Then I pull up to my apartment and I'm like, yes, Cheez Its and Narcos plus me in my bed by myself. I'm about it. But then brrr, the Lyft app goes off. So I'm like, fuck. But then I realize the girl stays in the same apartment complex that I stay at. Hey. Right? I'm about it. I can deal with one more drunk girl for $13.50. So I waited and I waited for 10 minutes. And I'm like, where is she at? So I call her three times, no answer. So I pull up to my apartment complex and I get a phone call like, where are you? And I'm like, bitch, who the fuck do you think you are? Okay, I didn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, so what did you really do? I drove my black ass back, let's be real. Mm -hmm. I wanted the money. So I'm being polite, looking in the rearview mirror, and I'm like, hey, how's your night going? She goes, take me to 6th Street. It's 3 a.m. and this bitch wants to go to 6th Street? <laughs> Wait, what? As far as I'm concerned, we live in Austin, Texas. We don't live in Las Vegas. The bars close at 2 a.m. So what did, you, what did you tell her? She goes, what are you waiting for? <laughs> for it to be 4 p.m. tomorrow when the bars reopen. She goes, I have friends there. We're celebrating that I finally got triple digit likes on my latest photo. <laughs> what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So I gave the customer what they asked for. Right. I go, okay, we're here. Get out. Don't forget the tip well. <laughs> Got her ass. Yeah.